What's happening folks? We're back for the next Master Riff, and this time we go out to Hawaii, and it actually looks like maybe they really did go to Hawaii. I'm not certain, but it looks convincing in some of the shots. Either way, we do have Kabir Beatty as the villain, and another good female lead, though they certainly don't give her very many lines. More generally, there's a real Raiders of the Lost Ark slash Goonies feel to this one, so be prepared for some treasure hunting. Either way, let's get it. Three, two, one, go. They were going to call the episode The Borneo Shrew, but wisely reconsidered. <laughs> no, don't worry, said some editor. The cut will look fine. Oh man, B-Team Alec Guinness is fatigued. Oh nice, there's a theme park nearby. Hi, I'm Max Keller. The guy in the jungle is an old friend of the Masters, Leo Fairchild. We were on our way to Hawaii at his request. Driving under the help. Pacific Ocean. Unfortunately, we got there too late. To stop him from wearing that tie. <laughs> I fail to see the connection. Frodo's in there, hanging in a spider web. 1,328 hours. Following a bearing of 227 degrees from oh, the previous note of Banyan Tree, about 700 meters. I believe I am at the entrance of the Kahani Cave. I'm about to enter. Also, I wouldn't mind a sandwich. Look out, bro. The stock footage will get you. Nice of Tom to take a break from his raft building to write this episode. Wow, he's penetrating deep into that dark crack. Ah, so a goblin was here earlier. That's one hell of a Pez dispenser. And right now that totem is saying, Come on, kill me, I'm here, do it now! Ooh, that would have landed right on my frumpy head. I think I'm at the entrance of the second chamber. Also, I have to admit, I'm a bit gassy. Throw me the idol, I'll throw me the whip. Help, help me, Tannahammer! Ugh, Clammy doesn't cover it. At least do him the dignity of closing his mouth. And at the same time in Malta...
Ah, must be cold out. Aloha, welcome to Waikiki. Thanks. Oh, listen, uh, would you be free in about five minutes for a surfing lesson? I don't teach surfing lessons. To guys no like problem. you. Sign up for whatever it is you do teach. I could get used to this. What, getting turned down? Or falling on your face? Very funny. All kidding aside, this Leo Fairchild, whatever trouble he's You said in, anything about kidding, Max. Whatever it is, it won't be nothing new. Leo spent most of his life in trouble. I'll feel a lot better when we get there. Hey, this is his daughter, isn't it? Yes. Last time I saw her, she was new. And two months old. Any guy that's got a daughter that looks like that can't be all bad. I can immediately think of multiple examples that disprove that theory. Did we interrupt her in a production of Swan Lake or something? Where is it? I don't have it. Come on, Miss Fairchild. I'm warning you. Hello, police. This is... Disconnected. The old bum couldn't even pay his phone bills. You leave you enough money to spare him? Oh come on, you could have recycled that. Except our offer. He'd probably still be here. You killed him, didn't you? If I had, we wouldn't still be looking for the other half of the map. We'd be teabagging his body like a halo game. Now. Understand? Hey, they stiffed the cabbie. What the I've hell? I've played this scene before. You've probably seen it before. I ask you a question. You refuse to answer. So I hurt you a little more. Let's not play it again. Where's the map? <gasps> Think it's a client trying to get out? Like I said before. You're terrible. He's in trouble. Oh. I don't know where the map is. Great old ninja trick. <laughs> Let her go. Who the hell are you? You want me to make the introduction? I'll handle it. Thanks for saving me, Steve. No, oh, no, Max got hurt in his tummy. Max. I'm all right. Was that guy big or what? Enormous. I thought so. Uh. You're Shelly Fairchild. And you're John Peter McAllister, aren't you? Right. Who are those guys? Killers. Where's your father? I'm afraid you've made the trip for nothing. My father was killed four days ago. Huh. Oh, shit. Well, problem solved. I, uh, keep going. Face it, he was a dreamer. Hey, who am I kidding? He was a loser. Kinda like you, Max. My dad, Mr. McAllister, he lived from crisis to crisis. Mostly of his own doings, I recall. Well, it finally caught up with him. And the irony of it, the tragedy is that he was about to retire. On what? I mean, his office didn't exactly. No, look good. no, I know what you mean. He had a deed. Besides an office uh, full of junk and uh, some sweaty white suits. Lots of tender memories. He left me a deed to an island. A whole island? Oh, believe me, it isn't much. He won it several years ago in a poker game. It's about 15 acres, uninhabited, between here and Maui. It's called Halakai. Mostly volcanoes. Oh, wow. The master's yeah, hair is trying to take flight. He knows everything. The deed to this island, it came with a map. Something valuable is supposed to be hidden there. A treasure map? you got to be kidding. The islands are littered with treasure. The trick is to know how to find them. I, I detect it, it with the too. nerves in my hair. So did my father, until he found out Kruger was taking it seriously. Kruger? Who's he? A buyer and seller. Antiques, supposedly. Draper and the other men in Dad's office, they work for Mr. Kruger. Dad tore the map in two, for safety. <laughs> Which obviously didn't I, uh, work. I found him dead on the beach in Halakai, with half the map beside him. Somehow Kruger's people must have overlooked it. So that's the trouble Leo was in. And today they came back after your half of the map. Where is it? Mind your own business, Pops. What are the police doing? Nothing. Insufficient evidence. 
seems the death of someone like Leo Fairchild isn't exactly high priority. He may have been the most inept private detective in history. But I loved him. Specifically, I loved him over here. I loved him. That map is the only thing I have left of my dad. How about we get the rest of it for you, from Kruger? How? I don't know. <laughs> Genius. But maybe we can nail him in the process. Oh. Before we rush into this, let me see if my old friend Keto Harris is still with the Hawaii police. You may be able to fill us All in right. on is this a name I need Don't to remember, show? Sight. There you go again. Leaving me with all the tough assignments. <laughs> she looked lukewarm about that hug. I don't actually believe those other two are black belts, but okay. Well, she couldn't have buried the map with her father. She had him cremated, scattered at sea. <laughs> Thanks but for the half ass hand gesture, Draper. I'm telling you, those guys that jumped us, that was no garden variety old man. He, he was the deluxe like edition. What kind of <laughs> Like that, only better. That is none better. And that's your excuse for coming here, crawling with your tail between your legs? Get off my back, Mr. Kruger. No, oh, my throat. Don't you ever talk to me in that tone of voice again. Do you understand? <coughs> We're running out of time! We're also low on milk! Go and get the other half of that map from that girl. And get it now. And Draper, do whatever is necessary. We're not talking about some dime store toy. We're talking about the Java Tiger. It's real. I'm Draper, and I'm still mad. And it's going to be mine. I met him on the road, a little place called Elliston. I was in trouble, as usual. And since then, we've been mostly moving around the country looking for Terry McAllister. And I've been learning a lot about myself. About how bad I am with women. Some things I'm trying to change. Some emotions I'm trying to control. A couple of moments I'm real proud of. How about you? Singing, trying to take care of my father, and a couple of relationships I'm not proud of. Used his name in the present tense, didn't I? As if he wasn't. I understand. He's dead, and I don't want to hear about it. I know you do. Underneath it all, you're really very sensitive, aren't you? Just don't tell the bad guys. Why is even looking better? <laughs> wow, than I they change outfits quick. <laughs> Max, do you ever get tired of dragging Miss McAllister around the country with you, or is he the one doing the dragging? You really say what's on your mind, don't you? Not always. If Nobody I did, I'd be insulting anything. you constantly. We can both walk anytime, okay? I didn't mean to make you angry. I'm sorry. I guess, uh, it just touched a nerve I didn't know I had. The map was supposed to be hidden in the cave. Dad wouldn't tell me. Said the less I knew, the better. He was right. Still coming to have it. Tough talk without your partner around. Think you can hack it, kid? <laughs> well, I guess not. Big mistake, kid. I used to make them too, but you learn, you know? Now, you're gonna tell us where you've hidden that map. Brought your new friend here? He dies. Your choice. Well, he actually just disappointed me now, so go ahead and shoot. Friend's got about two seconds, lady. And one, and two, and three, and why is he not dead? All right, I'll tell you. Gets him every time. Meanwhile, on the streets of Los Angeles... Let's go. Who 
Who's that, the good fairy? I don't know, but he couldn't have timed it any better. I was gonna say the same thing to you. Well, I was in the neighborhood, you know how it is. You okay? Oh, you cuties. Okay, well, let's go inside. Did you talk to the police? Some. Kruger's a mystery man. Swiss passport, international reputation. And just like you said, a buyer and seller. Of what? Drugs, armaments, lives. Also margarine, and oddly enough. Them. He's rented a beach house near Kailua. Now, Lieutenant Harris said your father was trying to nail him. Oh, wow. Really? Well, certainly he spent enough time with him, feeding 5-0 with information. To get Kruger off his back. And since his death, the heat has dissipated. Yeah. Though the heat is also on, as Glenn Frey would remind us. Wow, got dark pretty quick. I don't trust the dude with the bandana on his head. Champagne? Thanks. And you? Fruit juice, please. Oh, nothing to celebrate? Only this meeting. He's naturally friendly. So him never fails. Anyway, I've got my guano bowl. Sort of a tepid response. She's good. Wish I could say the same thing for this boy. Or me. An acquired taste. Hello. Hi. You are wonderful, Shelley. Incredible. Thanks. Still got a long way to go, but I'm getting there. Did you find anything? Yeah. The real estate agent who rented the beach house to Kruger. I kind of copied the layout from her. She said there's a safe in the master bedroom. You're gonna rob the place? The idea, yeah. It's his idea. Can we borrow your car? Are you kidding? Of course. As long Maybe as you're committing felonies. How about as soon as we get back with the map? Yeah. You be careful, will you? Because I hate to miss a chance to kill you myself. Hey, what's wrong with you? Shingles? Who was in such a hurry to get to Hawaii so we could help Leo out? Oh. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Well, there you go, answering a question with a question. I think you spend too many years taking lessons in Inscrutable. You could use one or two lessons yourself. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Who's that dipping in the Cadillac? I'm running out of patience, Mr. Tanehama. This half of a map you sold me is of little use. The girls you know, that salmon chair really brings the room together. She's telling the truth. That leaves you. No, I told you. That was all I found on Fairchild's body. Half I played bass for Fairchild's body. Don't <laughs> lie to me. I find it most distressing when I'm lied to. Now, let's hear your entertaining story once again. So I can choke you once again. Hawaiian shirts for your mellow henchmen. Haven't we been in this situation before? Frequently. When are we gonna learn? It's dangerous. Well, speak for yourself. I learned that a long time ago. But if the girl's pretty, what can you do? Crash and burn Be repeatedly? Quiet. Remember whose idea this is. Mr. Tanihama, I believe you. Though I still do want to choke you. you Mr. Fairchild on the beach? One hour? Maybe a little more. 
Then he returned. Smelling like whiskey. dead at my feet. You didn't tell the police? Of course not. Mr. Tanehama wouldn't want them inquiring into his nocturnal shipping enterprises. Isn't that right, sir? Which is why we can continue to trust him to keep the matter of the Java Tiger <laughs> yeah, in the subtle, Max. confidence. Am I right, Mr. Tanehama? Oh, yes, Mr. Kruger. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. You want me to keep an eye on him? No. He's telling the truth. Fear, I can smell it. He wouldn't go anywhere near that cave. He doesn't have the other half of the map. Or my top button. It's got to be the girl. More, more practice. Not quite your finesse yet. Gets the job done. The Let me just put you in the failed henchman bin team. over here. One of Leo's favorite occupations. Maybe one of his wild dreams came true. Where's the bedrooms over here? Let's go make love. Where's the safe? I figured asking the real estate lady for its exact location was slightly obvious. I know, I know. I never let it bother me before, right? What was it you called it? A gaining of wisdom or something like that? I guess visuals are unimportant at this point. Over here. Time for some of that ninja magic of yours. Yeah, nothing magic about it. Though I would like to saw you in half. Sure, nothing magic. Piece of cake. You realize you could be making big bucks doing this? Or not. That ball clearly bounced like five feet in the air without exploding. Oh, come on, dude. You're a henchman. You know you're not gonna hit anything. I'll meet you by the road. Go on, not going Get out of here! Interesting weapons. Smoke, weight of chains. A useless sidekick. Why did I listen to him? You must tell me more about them. It's fortunate your wound is so slight, Mr. McAllister. Just like Max's, er, never mind. I have no doubt that you've inflicted a great deal more damage on my people since this morning. I try. How long have you been on this quest? For the Java Tiger? Now come on, Kruger. That's no more than a legend. That's just Like Max's true. prowess with the ladies. Not if one reads the journals of William Palmer, first mate of Captain Cook's final voyage. Palmer writes of a small but incredible jewel-inlaid golden statuette. A gift. To Captain Cook from a Javanese king. Palmer also goes on to describe how Cook later presented the statue to a local chief here in the islands, on Halakai to be precise, as a peace offering. The date? Last Thursday. February the 10th, oh. 1770. For all the good it did him. Four days later, he was killed on Kalala Kukui Bay. <laughs> you know a great deal, Mr. McAllister. What you apparently don't know is how ridiculous is you look in that outfit. Placed the statue in a cave, a kind of shrine on Halikai, and Palmer made a map of it. I have half, and you have half. We could be partners. If only you spoke Havidos. I have no doubt that the statue is still there in that cave, 200 years later. Today, the Java Tiger is conservatively worth $8 million. So. Where's the other half of that map? I don't know. Of course you do. And you will tell me. I have no doubt your threshold of pain is high. Very high. I mean, you're friends with Max. But I'm a patient man, Mr. McAllister. I've spent 16 years of my life on this quest. So you will tell me. And then I will kill you. A pity. It would have been rewarding to have brought you to your knees in one-to-one oh, wow. combat. Go for it. 
After Mr. Draper has finished with you, there will only be a broken shell of a man left to fight. Not much sport in that, is there? Take him out. Wine him. Dine him. I've been so worried. What happened? They jumped us. But where's... Still there, covering for me. We could call the police. By the time I'd finished explaining how come we're breaking into Kruger's house, McAllister could be dead. What have I gotten you into? Well, it might have helped if you had warned us the stakes were so high. The Java Tiger? Even I've heard of that. If it's real. If it exists. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't exist, as long as Kruger believes it does. Is there any way I can help? Well, that often may need it. What is all this stuff? Weapons. Just hope I'm up to using them right. <laughs> What's this for? Beats me. Probably lesson 17. Let's go. Uh, Max, in Riverton, you clearly said lesson 17 was catching bullets in your teeth. Oh, come on, man. The top two buttons? You won't say a word. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if pain means nothing to him. Strange man. All right, we won't wait any longer. Give him a lemonade. Kill McAllister. Oh. Then get the girl. Hey, this is private property. Couple. I want to speak to Mr. Kruger. Tell him I brought the map. I want John Peter McAllister in exchange. Starlight, star bright. Nice timing, Max. Bye bye. But the henchmen heard him getting out of the bushes, turned around, and shot him. Right, because you don't want anyone to identify your mouth. Max. <laughs> so Max was planning to impale that guy's face? Nobody's perfect. Good to see you. This time I was in the neighborhood. I know how it is. You all right? Draper worked me over. Which is why I have no cuts, bruises, or visible injuries of any kind. Being worked over, or worse. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Like when I look in the mirror. Together. That's why I knew you'd come back for me. Thank you, Max. Let's go. You're surprised to see me, right? What the hell happened to her car? Have you brought the map? Max Keller has it. He's across the road watching us. When you bring Mr. McAllister out, he'll come over and hand it to you. If any of your winners lays a hand on me, Max burns the map. You obviously acquired your business sense from someone other than your father. Drop it, Draper. <laughs> and Max fails again. All right, the map. Come on, hurry up, hurry! I don't do this kind of work for a living. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I don't even know why the henchmen bother anymore. Leo. Hello, John. Leo, as in Leo Fairchild? Why? About eight million reasons, John. Hey, watch cat. where you're pointing that thing. I can't pull this off without you. You're gonna take us to that island. We lost him. What do we do? Call Tony Hammer. Tell him I want to choke him we again. We need his boat to take us to Halakai. We let them lead us to the Java Tiger. But without I half of the map, they won't be able to. Leo Fairchild was driving that car. He's alive, as I always suspected. He's been to the cave. Also, tell Raphael thanks for the size. And he lead us to it. Johnny, you knew? While running down information... <laughs> nice four-inch TV on the shelf there. ...head on you was a missing person. I checked a little further, and I found no death certificate. Yeah, I thought about that. But then I thought, who'd look? Leo, how could you let Shelley take the heat like that? Hey, what can I tell you? There wasn't supposed to be any more heat after I was dead. Max, don't be sorry, Shelley. This, uh, this is not what it looks like. With you, it never is. One thing I could count on, you always cared more about your friends than about money. 
Oh, no, no, wait a minute, John. I mean, I've got a healthy interest in that map at all. But I tell you, I, for one, never thought that Java Tiger was anything but smoke. Well, that is until Krug and his guys started slapping me around a little. Which I don't blame them for, really. I mean, ah, have you seen me? Look, forget it. Forget what I said about going over there after. I mean, what does a guy like me need with all this this, this treasure hunting grief? I mean, maps, treasure hunters and all, and all this kind of thing. Johnny, I'm not into hitting people and kicking them anymore. I got a business to run here, remember? And listen, don't, don't get the idea about this refurbished office. I mean, I've got great client list. I mean, hey, last year alone, I grossed Leo. Oh, you grossed last year, all right. You know, it still gets away from me sometimes. Ah. Oh, here it is. Here. All right, this half is... I think that's the right one. Yeah, 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 this is the only half I'll need because I can remember the rest. But we have got to be careful because there are booby traps and poison darts. Not strong enough to kill old Leo, of course. But it's the other thing, the entry into the second chamber. Legend has it that no human being can get through it. That's Only right. Bilbo with his ring. Yeah, right, because you're not... Uh, you're, uh, inhuman. No, 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 John, you're, you're a ninja. You, you guys can get into almost anywhere, can't you? Why should I? Yeah, well, I, I guess maybe I should have thought about that before, huh? I deceived you, John. Your old pal deceived you. I even got my daughter to deceive you. I guess I'm not like good wine. I don't age too well. I'm also not great at tying ties. I, I don't suppose it would help to tell you that I, that I did it all for Shelley. Not a whole lot. I guess I've really blown it with you this time, huh? Close, but no cigar. You mean we're on it? We'll go to your island. And we'll abandon Find you there. Java Tiger before Kruger and his people get to it. Right, right. They'll be going over there, too, won't they? Uh-oh. Listen, uh, you guys think you could do this without me? I, I got this big domestic surveillance over here. Oh, hey, you know, Rich Bimbo and her tennis pro. <laughs> Leo. Right. I'll drive. To an island? We should be at the end of our half of the map in about 10 minutes. I'll drop from heat prostration first. Please don't undo another button. Wow, stock footage makes a lot of noise. Hey, you going back to the beach and wait? You will do exactly as I tell you. The quicker we find the cave, the quicker you'll be safe. And wealthy. Boop, boop, boop. Don't forget that. No boat. Maybe Kruger threw in the towel. Not likely. They could have put it on the lee side. They're here. Well, let's go, but we gotta stay together. Thanks for that extra shot. They're moving inland, Mr. Kruger. Heading north. Good. Stay with them, but be careful. The old man's got eyes in the back of his head. Also a short but very energetic stuntman. Here we are. As far as this map will take us. Now we wait. Moki, Pane, go to that bridge. Zumi, Boomba, go the other way. Check up ahead. Now we wait. It's amazing what some people go through for a lousy eight million bucks. Protagonist bum cam. Just a bit outside with that punch. Finley should have checked in three minutes ago. See if you can reach him. Finley, do you read? Aye, Scottish Finley. Monthly. It was that tree. No, it was that one. Damn, let's do that Inigo Montoya Leo. thing with the sword. No, 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 it's this one. 
Well, anyway, look, we're, we're almost at the outer edge of the other half of the map. That's where I'd be if I were Kruger. Oh, yeah, listen, maybe we ought to... Uh, Max, you circle around that way, but just for looking. Because you always fail when in we combat. Move, we've got to move together. I'll be the picture of restraint. I'll go that way. We'll meet back here in five minutes. Got it. What about us? You wait here. Excuse me, I gotta go sneeze. Can we hold that for you, Daddy? No, I'm okay. I just sure wish I'd never seen that. Wow, thing. the sweat stains. Hey, I don't deserve that. Yes, you do. Never forgive myself if I pass this up. Useless henchmen were useless henchmen. Useless henchmen were useless all the time. Sorry to just drop in like this, fellas. Don't you love it when the good guys win? They might have. If you'd done what I said. Seemed like a great idea at the time. All right, then again, Joe, I am an exactly idiot. Exactly as I tell you. Call your friends and ask them to join us. Tell them we're your prisoners. Tell them everything's all right. What's in it for us? A pastry? Live. Oh. You want them? You find them. Let's put them away and get on with it. You can take care of Leo and get the job in time. I drop your guns or drape the dice right now. Yeah. Oh, Zumi and Boomba got taken out. Tell you, Johnny, I'm not cut out for this kind of work. Where's Kruger? Oh. Forget about him. He got away. Without a backup, he's nothing. Does anybody get the feeling we should get to that cave fast? Yeah, Why? Because the cameraman just had a seizure? Anyway, good luck, Draper. Meanwhile, in the Triassic... Alright, this is it. Now watch yourself. Booby traps? Falling rocks, poison darts. It all depends on where you walk. I can show you where not to walk do any good. The Polynesians intend for that Java tiger not to be found. Certainly not by people like Max or Leo. It's in there. I know it's in there. Oh, look. He's carrying a torch. Stone in my shoe. Max, are you alright? Well, yeah. It was just two guys off camera with some props. Hopefully that didn't hurt the production assistants. That's been tripped recently. Yeah, by yours truly. If it's here, that's the room. That was a room? made up for your impetuousness. All of but it? not your face, unfortunately. You're kidding. It'll take years. The Java Tiger. Is it dusty paperweight? Back. Cover your faces. Nice going. So that's what eight million bucks looks like. I'll take that. Meanwhile, in Mordor. Get out of here fast. Not without you. Get them out of here. Let's go. Yeah! Ah! Yeah! 
Aw, oh, how cute. They made a miniature of everything. <laughs> Unnecessary close-up number 2,000 in the series so far. That's the face actresses on the show make when they learn they have to flirt with Max. Did he put rebar in Kruger's legs? Yeah, smooth move, Master. Tiger. I think he means to say, Tiger uppercut. Are you alright? I'm okay. I'm glad it's over. Well, it always was just smoke anyway, wasn't it, John? You literally just saw it two minutes ago. Oh, I'm gonna hate to see you and Max go, Mr. McAllister. Max is gonna hate it even more. I hope you can forgive me for lying to you. That's old news, Shelley. Shut your sleeping mouth, Shelley. Leo, what are your retirement plans? Hey, listen, that's all changed. Ever since the word got out that I'd nab Kruger and his troops, the work has been pouring in. I may have to open up another office, hire a staff. Pouring in, Daddy? Oh, well, maybe just a trickle. <laughs> but the point is that Leo Fairchild's investigations has turned the corner. Besides which, I don't ever want to see that island again. I got a feeling people are going to keep looking for the job of Tiger. Hey, you don't really think that maybe... Daddy... <laughs> Come on, Leo. You know we're totally incompetent. Yes, Roger Pancake, brother of Chris Waffles. Well, there you go. Another one in the books. Uh, so the next episode, we're going to meet Max's dad, which they presaged in an earlier episode, if you remember. In the moment, I'm forgetting what city it takes place in. I want to say somewhere on the East Coast. But yes, definitely the next episode we get some Max family backstory and a lot of heavy-handed emotional scenes, so prepare yourself for that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this one. And Max, the Master, and I will see you next time. Peace.